Hi there, my name is Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onside weekly news update for the fourth week of February 2020. Today we're on location here at the Jumeirah Lake Towers, a DMCC development of uh, some 80 mixed-use buildings that are home for 60,000 residents and a total of 120,000 working population. The tallest tower of the complex is the centerpiece of the development. It's the Almas Tower that was topped out in 2009 and for a very short time held the title of being the tallest building in Dubai until the completion of the Burj Khalifa. Well, in the news this week, the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ADNOC, has announced the award of two contracts for the construction of offshore facilities for the Dalma gas development project in Abu Dhabi. The two contracts with a total value of over 1.65 billion US dollars were awarded to Petrofac Emirates LLC and a joint venture between Petrofac and Supra Energy Behad. The Saudi water partnership company SWPC announced that a consortium comprising of France's NG and MOA company, one of the largest private water desalination companies in Saudi Arabia, as the preferred bidder to build the Yambu 4 independent water project IWP. The project, which will use reverse osmosis water desalination technology, will have a potable water capacity of 450,000 cubic meters per day on completion. Eagle Hills Sharjah has begun phase two of the Meriam Island master plan with the launch of the Meriam Gate residence comprising of six low-rise buildings. Nor Residence is the first building to be launched of the six buildings, which will be a seven-story building for 87 apartments. A consortium led by UAE-based Metico Group comprising of Saudi Arabia's Moha Company and Egypt's EPC contractor, or ASCOM Constructions, has broken ground on the first independent sewerage treatment plant, or ISTP, project in Dammam, Saudi Arabia. The project marks the first ISTP to be awarded by the Saudi Water Partnership Company to investors under a build, own and operate transfer model. The Iskan Oman Investment Company announced its plans to expand its Kim's Dakam Medical Complex to be a 50-bed fully integrated hospital. The hospital expansion will include the construction of a new building adjacent to the current facility. In Egypt, Hassam Alama Holdings has announced that its subsidiary AH Roads and Bridges has been awarded the Monib Bridge Expansion Project by the Ministry of Transport. The three-lane money bridge expansion will be 19 metres wide and 1,030 metres in length. This Nile River crossing bridge will utilise VSL's newest post-tensioning technology. VSL is AH Roads and Bridges partner in Egypt. Some of the new projects announced this week include the Ethiopia's Pavilion for Expo 2020, Dubai, the ETWP Arabia headquarters in Riyadh, and the Jebel Dana housing project in Abu Dhabi's Al Dafra region. Well, that's it for this week. My name is Phil Higgins for Ventures Onsite, and we hope this brief update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you're still wondering, potable water simply means water that's safe to drink. Have a great day.